this has been the the collection, uh, the comp, the 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 work of, of so many folks for so long, visioning uh, what uh, was to happen here and making it happen. I really want to thank Randy and this entire team from Parks and Rec uh, for executing on this project. The reason that I, I know that we all are here is because you want to make sure we have strong, healthy neighborhoods uh, for our families, to for our, for our babies uh, to recreate in, for, for all of us to enjoy over the course of our, of our, of our lives. Uh, congratulations to our folks at Parks and Rec. Congratulations to the folks who've been um, uh, working and praying for Hampton Park for a long time, to the wonderful le leadership over here in Brandon Acres, Cedar Terrace. And I'm going to yield to my friend Daniel Rickman, uh, City Councilman, uh, District 4. Well, as the mayor said, it's a great day here uh, to be here. I know this has been a labor of love for a lot of people here, especially the neighbors. And uh, I do want to make the commitment that, you know, we're not done yet. This is the beginning. It's been a long time coming. It was a struggle to get to where we are today, but we are very excited. And I hope you come down every day and keep seeing the enhancements here. Um, excited that we get to do the ribbon cutting today. I know y'all been waiting a long time for this beautiful park. And I have to say, I have not seen another park building like this. This is so unique to this neighborhood and so special that um, you know I wanna give our staff a hand for, for taking care of that and really giving this neighborhood something unique. It wasn't cookie cutter, and thank you. It's a very special day today. It's a very special day for the future of Brandon Acres Cedar Terrace, and I just want to say two words over and over and over again, and that is thank you. Thank you to our neighbors, because without you, there would be no community, there would be no building, there would be no future. I want to say thank you to our city council representatives. Without your help, without your assistance, this would never have happened, and we are here because of you, so thank you. And most importantly, to our city park staff, first of all, I know that every time you see my number come in on your caller ID, you're like, should I pick it up, should I pick it up? But I'm glad you pick it up, and I'm glad for what you do with our community, not just with Brandon Acres Cedar Terrace, but with your work in all of our neighborhoods, all 121 across the city of Columbia. Let's give a, a warm round of applause to not only our city staff, our city council, but also our neighbors here. You heard Mayor Benjamin uh, brag a little bit about me, talking about my work with Neighborhoods USA, but one of the most important questions I always get, I always got when I was uh, with that organization was, what does a great, what makes a neighborhood great? And there's still, the answer is still the same as it was 10 years ago. Great neighborhoods exist because of great neighbors. The people who live in this community, there's a special bond between them just like there is in any community. And I just want to take this one last time to reach out to them and say thank you for being a good neighbor, thank you for looking out for your fellow com community members, and thank you for making this neighborhood a, a very special neighborhood that's great for the City of Columbia.